Hey, YouTube family and friends. Welcome to Keto Granny's Way. This is a late night meal for me. I am, um, and I'm coming on today because I, I wanted something to eat on my way home. And I thought about a hamburger. So I wanted to go to Wendy's. So I scurry over to Wendy's on my way home, the closest one that was to me. And they were closed when I pulled up. But on my way there, I seen a Hardee's. I have not eaten a Hardee's since I was a child. Okay? Since I was a kid. And I was like, Hardee's? So when Wendy's was closed, I said, oh, I'm going to get a Hardee's. It'll be a new taste because I can't remember how it tastes when I was a kid. So I get in the line and I order, I look at the menu and I'm like, okay, uh, I know I'm gonna get two pieces of meat and some cheese, some mayonnaise, tomato and lettuce. I know I'm gonna get that. And then I said, uh, fries and a drink. Which bring me to the question I wanna ask you guys. Do you make your children wait to get home before they eat their fries and drink their drink? Wait on it. Wait on it. <laughs> well, as a kid, we had to. And we couldn't wait to get home. We didn't know no better. We order our food. Mama order our food. And when we get in, they pass the food out. And I never realized that my fries was cold. I just was excited because I was eating McDonald's or Burger King or White Castle. It was Top Hats then. But something dawned on me when I was old enough to go to the restaurant myself that they served the fries hot. So why are they not hot when I get home? So I decided that I would, <laughs> when I go to a fast food restaurant and I order some fries, and a drink, a drink. I do not wait to get home before I eat my fries. I saved these ones specifically for this video. This is how they would have been when I got home. They were hot and crisp and salty. Oh, they were so good. I ate them on the way home. This is what I always got when I was a kid though. I ain't know no better, but I know now. So fries don't never make it home. Don't make it home with me. My drink don't either because before I pull off, I'm putting a straw in the cup and I'm getting ready to drink my Diet Pepsi. Or I get a large cup of ice. So I heard someone say this. Y'all know I am a information educational channel and and i come to you guys to give you information that i would want you to apply so that you get the results that i got which was successful so anyway um back to the fry i was like i'm gonna save some of these fries so that i could do this video it just popped in my head so I wonder how many kids now wait to get home to eat their fries. How many parents is waiting for them to get home before they give them the fries? I don't even let my great grandbabies get home without giving them a chicken tender, a chicken nugget, a fry. <laughs> By the time they get home, they may have something left. <laughs> Excuse me, but I say this. I heard someone say, you go to the fast food restaurant and you order a 2,000 calorie meal. You go through the drive-thru and you only burn seven calories. They said you should, to burn more calories, park and go in. <laughs> that was funny to me because I, it, I mean, you, you, you gonna get a 2,000 calorie meal, a burger, fries, and a drink. Excuse me. 
And you didn't have to get out your car. So convenient. But anyway, my channel is all about stamping out obesity, preventing and reversing dietary caused diseases such as type 2 diabetes. I used to weigh 331 pounds three years ago. It's 2021 and I weigh 191. So I managed to maintain a weight of 137 pounds, I believe. Of the 147, yeah, I believe it's 147 pounds that I was able to maintain from the 157 that I lost in 14 months doing Keto Granny's Way. The reason why it's Keto Granny's Way is because you can eat fries. You can eat a hamburger. It's just my way. If I choose to have this, then I get a small fry. In my in my case today, I decided and allowed myself to have a medium. So I ate those fries. I asked for a hamburger that had double meat. It's double meat. It's got cheese on it. Look at this hamburger, y'all. I was like, wow, this hamburger big. Look at that. <laughs> it did come with mayonnaise, tomato, and lettuce on it. I asked for the mayonnaise, tomato, and lettuce to go on it. Because this is what I do when I order my hamburger. This is what I do. I get all the meat and the cheese and the fat that's going on it. Because fat don't make you fat, y'all, okay? Come on back to fat. Take it off your hips. Put it on your lips. Now, what I'll do is... Did y'all notice that these buns are real sweet now? It's amazing. The bun almost tastes like a donut or a cookie or something. But anyway, they do that to hoodwig us and to be an addicted to sugar so that we could continue to come back today, you know, get hamburgers in with the bun. Anyway, I'm not going to rattle. So I take that bun off. And depending on how, how many carbs, and when I say carbs, I'm not talking about vegetables. I'm talking about fattening carbs. This is a fattening carb, okay? If you just have the meat, the vegetables, and the cheese, and the mayonnaise, that's a fat-burning meal, okay? The french fries is fibrous. They're going to burn slow, even though it's a starch. So if you, when I order fries, and I have a hamburger, I make the decision to not get both buns if I'm going to eat fries. So I take off a bun, I eat the fries, I get a bunch of mayonnaise, because mayo is fat. Fat slows down the absorption of sugar after it's digested from the starch, okay? So then I'm able to, the brain don't even know you're not even eating both buns, okay? <laughs> it's not. But anyway, I take off the top bun and... You know, and bite my, my and this is how I eat my hamburger. Now, what was two thousand calories is uh fourteen hundred calories, and I'm still eating a, a delicious charcoal burger, and I cut out four hundred calories. And sugar. It's not so much the calories, the sugar. Okay, this would be a fat, a uh, fat uh, storing um, carbohydrate. Stop drinking your carbohydrates. This would have been four hundred and some calories, about six, about fifty-two um, grams of sugar, which equates to about uh, fourteen, fifteen. Uh, four. Four goes into 50. 
how many times? One and four. One, one, with two. Okay, one, three. It'd be this would be thirteen teaspoons of sugar. Okay, <laughs> you have thirteen teaspoons of sugar from here. You have twelve teaspoons of sugar from your bun, and then you'll have. 12, and you'll have 13 teaspoons of sugar from your french fries. So that would be 13, 12 is 25. And the drink, let's see, 13, 5, 14. So that would be 25, 30, 35. This would be 35, this meal right here would be 35, about 35 grams of carbohydrates. And carbohydrates are nothing but starch and sugar. Starch and sugar. Excuse me, y'all. Somebody was trying to call. But anyway, I'm going to eat this hamburger. And today I want you to take away from, I want you to answer this question though. If you were born in the 60s, Hardy's been here since 1960. I was born in 61. I remember Hardy's. So anyone out there that's been born since Hardy's has been in existence, think back. Did you have to wait to get home to eat your fries and drink your drink? And then when you did, was they cold when you got home? <laughs> Put it in the comments what it is that your answer is. Yes, no, maybe. And give you something to think about. But anywho, I am going to enjoy this hamburger. Hmm. Hmm. It's not like Burger King. No. It's not like Burger King. And it's supposed to be an Angus burger, too. To me, it's kind of dry. I couldn't imagine how it would be if I didn't get extra mayonnaise and some pickle, I mean, some lettuce and tomato on it. I don't know how that would have been, but overall, this was nostalgic for me. And it took me back to a time till I was wondering why we had to wait to get home to eat the fries and then when we ate them they were cold well we really didn't realize that they were cold they were good because we was getting ready to eat mcdonald's or top hats or burger king we were kids it didn't matter so i'll leave this with you today anticipation is the greatest aphrodisiac that we as humans can have. The anticipation of going to get what it is that you want, waiting for it to get ready. Then they hand it to you and you're excited, you like, can't wait. But as a kid, it's building and building and building until you get home and they start passing the food out and you eating it with such joy, you know, and happiness, you don't even care that the fries was cold. So I tell you this, Try it. Try making something or buying something and check into yourself and see how anticipation feels. It starts low and it climbs and climbs and climbs and climbs and climbs. And when you finally get whatever it is or you finally get that fry, that drink, it's like a release. You're like, ah. Oh man, that was good, that was good, that was good. So you don't have to use outside substances in order to tap into your exude system because everything that's in us, God made, we have in us already. So the takeaway here is anticipate. 
anticipate. I think that's why I'm um, a person that have to have instant gratification. And I probably need instant gratification because everything was like this. You were told what to do. They wanted it then. You, you, you had to wait for this. You had to wait for that. And I think that the feeling that I got from anticipation wouldn't let me wait. So I think that's why I'm working on now consistency. I don't have to have it right now. I could use the gift that God gave me anticipation. And I could let the moment build and build and build and build until I finally have what it is that I want. And then I'm exude. It's like a high. And it's like, oh, that was good. So I'll leave you with this today. Try anticipation and think back if you were born in the 60s if you ever had hot fries, did you have to wait till you got home to eat your fries and drink your drink? I saved 400 calories. I saved 13 teaspoons of sugar by just getting a cup of ice. And I get a bottle of water that I carry and I use a Kool-Aid pack. That's a hack, y'all. Get the ice, get the water, get your Kool-Aid pack. And a lot of times they'll give you the ice free. So you'll have a drink. And this is Hawaiian punch. Grape. Hey, that's a thumbnail. <laughs> anyway, remember knowledge is not powerful unless you apply the knowledge. And change does not happen until changes happen. So you got to take action. Don't just be a knowledge hog. Take action on what it is that you're trying to achieve in order to get what it is that you want. Then I believe you'll have success. Until then, until next time, something fall in my spirit that I just want to talk about. Then I'm going to come live again with you guys. And um, let you know what's on my mind. But this is Keto Granny Sway. Come on back to fat. Take it off your hips and put it on your lips. I can make any meal a fat-burning meal. You don't have to diet. No dieting. No yo-yoing. You can have the foods you love and fear while maintaining a fat-burning metabolism. And Keto Granny's Way will show you how. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.